Hi, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Khadija. I'm in an accelerated BSN program. I just finished my first semester and I took pharmacology and pathophysiology. The final for my pharmacology class was a HESI exit exam. So we took the HESI pharmacology exam. So this is also how I studied for that. So to start off with, I'm going to show you the two outside materials that I bought. So my school did not provide these for us. Um, the first thing I bought was this book. It's the Hussey NCLEX RN examination book from Evolve. Um, this book helped so much. So for pharmacology, I will admit I didn't get A's on every single exam. I got A's and B's. Um, but I did really well on the HESI, and so that really helps my grade a lot. Um, so for this book, it was really helpful because there's a lot of, um, I like tapped all of it, but there's like charts in here and it gives you a lot of the information on like, so like this chart is about diuretics and it bre breaks it down to like loop, potassium sparing and all that. And then it shows the different like indications, adverse reactions, nursing implications, all of that stuff that you need to know. And it is so much easier to like compare and contrast all of them. So you can get all of the medications like right in your head, if that makes any sense. Cause that was a big issue for me. The book also comes with more online questions. Um, and those were so helpful, I will say. I found that the best way for me to like study and learn the best is by getting questions wrong and just doing a ton of practice problems. Um, I don't know why, but that that's just how it sticks in my head the best because the rationales can be so good and like explain things that like you weren't understanding before. So the questions for that was really helpful. And this book also is good for not just pharmacology, um, it has things for pretty much every class that you're going to have to take in nursing school. Yeah, so fundamentals, med surge, peds, maternity, psych, and Jerry, which are pretty much all the big ones. Um, and then there's also the questions for each of those subjects in the online portal on Evolve. Um, and I found that those questions were really similar to the HESI. They were a good, they were good practice problems. So I didn't get that book until like the very end, right before, I think like a week before I took the final. Um, so I wasn't able to use that on all my exams, but I don't think I really would have used it for my exams very much just because it was like a good comprehensive review, but it didn't like, the questions online you couldn't break down into like sections of pharmacology but what did a really good job at that are these flashcards um by by nurse in the making um she also has like a bundle and um a other stuff i only have these flashcards and then the lab value flashcards which are also pretty pretty useful um and so I use these flashcards so much and I basically like would rewrite all of my notes onto these flashcards. Um, she gives like a lot of, she like, she gives like a lot of really good information on these cards, but there were some things that throughout my class, my teacher would like emphasize or that my teacher would mention that isn't on these cards. And so I would, I mean, I'm trying to find one because these cards are just kind of the big things to remember for each medication. And they're really good for that but I would go in and add my own notes. So I have like little sticky tabs and I have like little, and then I have like little sticky notes on other ones. Um, so when I was studying for them, I had all the information that I needed to know on the cards. And these cards did help so much. Um, what I would do to use the flashcards because I didn't always have someone there to to like quiz me on them. So I would write them down on a whiteboard. I would like start with like the front side where it would just say the drug name. And then I would write everything I could remember about that drug on the whiteboard. Um, and so that way like you're able to double check everything. And then if you don't have a whiteboard, you can just use like a piece of paper or like type it in or something. But I really think writing it out helps so much. 
Um, also, the medications that like I was having a really hard time remembering things on, I would just set and rewrite like all the big main ideas from these cards onto my whiteboard because I feel like that also helps stick it into your brain a lot more, at least for me. So each of these like little drug classes, I would try to memorize a day. Um, and then so by the end, I was able to know all of them. And so I was kind of like repeating, going over them as much as I could. And that really did help a lot. You're not gonna know every single medication that you're going to see on your exams and on the HESI. Um, it's just, there are just way too many and you're not gonna remember everything about them. So that's where doing all those practice questions helped me so much because you start to like figure out what they want and like, I don't know, like by just doing the repeated questions, you kind of like start to see what they're trying to get at, the important things of what you should do. And then always remember like your ABCs and all of that to like help you answer the questions. Oh, and so through my school, we use like evolve things. I'm not sure if everyone has this, but we have like Elsevier adaptive quizzing for each class that we're that we take and it like correlates to our textbook chapter So I would go through and do all of the like questions about them and that helped a lot too And if you don't want to spend the money buying the NCLEX comprehensive review and your school doesn't have like Elsevier adaptive quizzing then I also did this but just finding like quizlets for like pharmacology questions or Quizlets for like the HESI, pharmacology HESI, um, those helped a lot too. So just getting as many questions as you can. Another thing that a lot of my cohort uses is your best grade. Um, I'll have links for everything down below, but a lot of people really like your best grade because that will like give you a score. Well, your best grade is specific to um, the exit HESI but it'll give you like what you would have scored on that test. So a lot of people have found that it's a pretty good indicator of how you're gonna do. I haven't bought it yet just because I haven't that really found the need to. The other thing that helped me so much is just listening to pharmacology videos. So I'll leave some of my favorite um, like nursing educator YouTubers down below, but like, um, Nurse Mike, um, Nurse Sarah has some really good ones, um, they help so much. Just like getting all the information in as many different forms helps soak it in so much. And keep in mind, I'm in an accelerated program, like we did pharmacology in eight weeks, which is crazy fast. Um, so if I could do it and if my cohort can do it, you guys can do it. No one failed in my class. Um, so it seems a lot scarier. Pharmacology is so scary. Like I was terrified to take it. I was terrified during it. I was freaking out during the HESI final, but everything will work out. And you honestly just have to like trust in yourself and like go with your gut. Like that's something I also really had to learn was that your gut instinct is usually right. I don't go back and check my answers. Um, I know, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of controversial because most people do, but I've found that every time I go back and change an answer, I always change it from the right answer to the wrong answer. So I just, I just had to stop. Um, and I kind of did the same thing for, for the HESI final. It was just like my first thought instinct of like, oh, I think it's this answer. I would just click, I just clicked it and submitted it. And I was like, that's it. You just have to like trust yourself, you know, which can be really hard. But if you have studied enough and put in all of the time, because it is a lot of work that you need to put it. Um, so if you do all of that, then it will work out. And also at the end of the day, grades don't define you. Whether you pass or fail, it doesn't matter. And if you fail, you just try again and try harder, you know? Learn what you did wrong and where you went wrong and it makes you stronger and better. And you can learn so much from your failures. An A versus a B really doesn't matter in nursing school. You know, like 
does it feel nice to get the A? Yeah. Is it nice to get a B? Yeah, but it really doesn't matter. As long as you pass and you're not at risk of failing out of your program, then who really cares, you know? And also one more thing I just wanna say is like, don't be competitive against your cohort. You are all in this together and so use each other. Not, not in a bad way, but like study together, share your study guides. And cause that's like how, what's really helped me, you know, I've had people in my class share study guides. I've shared my study guides. We've quizzed each other. We've studied together. We've like clarified things together. And that helps so much. Like being able to talk things out with other people helps you see where you have gaps in your own knowledge and being able to teach someone a concept is such a good indicator of how well you know that material. So if you can, try to find like study partners and when you feel ready, do study with them. Um, I wouldn't like 100% rely on only studying with others or like waiting for other people to send you a study guide. So that's basically everything I did for pharmacology. I made my own study guides. Um, for my exams, I used those flashcards. And also, if if there was a medication my teacher wanted us to know and it wasn't in that flashcard set, I would make my own flashcard and add it into there. I have those in a separate stack somewhere, but I don't have it with me right now. Um, but yeah, flashcards for pharmacology helped me a lot. And then at the end for the HESI final, the NCLEX examination book helped a lot, as well as those practice quizzes from there. Um, watch pharmacology videos. They help clarify things really well. I also, I would listen to pharmacology videos as I was falling asleep because in my mind, it kind of helped soak it in while I was sleeping. Um, I don't know how well it worked, but just like in all of your downtime or like when I was cooking or cleaning, I would have it going on in the background because just hearing it over and over and over again, you're gonna like absorb something. And like, maybe that gets you one more question right. Study with your cohort if you can. We would like turn it into a game of like, one person would ask the question, like come up with a question from the study guide. And then everyone would try to like write it on the whiteboard to see who could get the answer first and like get it right. So making it a game is like so much fun. Um, also rewriting things over and over and over again. You just need to repeat all these things to get it memorized and stuck in your head. Also, I would get really nervous when I was taking these exams for pharmacology. So I would always try to like have a relaxing morning before the test. I would not study or cram or anything because I knew like there's not really much you're gonna remember at that point and also like it's just gonna make you more nervous so so having like a relaxing morning helps a lot doing things that de-stress you so that's pretty much everything i did for the class um if you have any questions leave them down below and i'll try to answer them good luck in pharmacology you got this thank you so much for watching and i'll see y'all next time bye <music>